I'm here at beautiful Mount St. Helens in Washington State. You know, just about 40 years ago, this mountain was cone-shaped. But as you can see, it's not like that anymore. Now it's got this horseshoe shape. That's because on May 18, 1980, this volcano blew its top, <laughs> literally. The top 1,300 feet of material blasted away, leaving this crater. Now eventually, lava flows formed a new dome, five new domes actually, all of which were destroyed by subsequent eruptions. But the sixth dome that formed between October 1980 and 86 is what you see today. It's composed of 2.6 billion cubic feet of lava, and it's quite young, having finished forming just over 30 years ago. Well, in 1996, geologists sent rocks from the lava dome to be radiometrically dated. Now, they used a method called potassium argon. So here's how radiometric dating works. You see, radioactive isotopes will decay at presumably predictable rates, called a half-life. Now, as they decay, they turn from one isotope, such as potassium, into another, in this case, argon. Well, scientists measured how much potassium and how much argon are in the rock, and they calculate the age of the rock, right? But creation scientists have pointed out for years that there are some major problems with radiometric dating. One big one is all of the assumptions that it's grounded on. You must assume that the half-life is constant and that it never varies. You have to assume that there was no contamination. For example, no argon was present in the sample before the decay began. Well, that's a lot of unprovable assumptions. Now, if radiometric dating and the assumptions that it's founded on were accurate, well then Mount St. Helens rocks should have yielded very young ages. After all, the rock was merely about a decade old. You see, the problem is they didn't. The rock gave an age of 350 thousand years. When they dated the minerals within the rock, ooh, the problem got much worse. They gave dates of 2.4 million years. This is for a 10-year-old rock. Now, Mount St. Helens highlighted that we shouldn't blindly trust the dates given by radiometric dating. The assumptions clearly aren't accurate, so the dates that they give are also inaccurate. Instead of trusting a method that doesn't even give correct ages for rocks of known age, well, maybe we should trust the Bible's history, which tells us that our Earth is around 6,000 years old. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. Like what you're seeing? Want more? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified as soon as we put up new videos and content.